Hey, 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 <laughs> how y'all doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how I am converting a flower garden to a vegetable garden and how a Troy built electric cultivator made my life a lot easier. You're going to want to watch this. quick little break. I'm going to get back in there at noon. I took the tines off of my uh, cultivator. Getting everything together here. Oil her up and get rolling. Well, all right. I've got that Troy built electric cultivator back in function. It was all bound up, so I broke those tines off. Cleaned her up, put some 321 oil everywhere I could. Need to wipe her down. Put some armor all on there or something, get the black back. Anyhow, got this little clover like ground cover in here. Which is better than hen bit and that daggum trumpet line crap. Which I got a little bit of that, still trying to get it completely out. But this is the before, and uh, I'll cultivate all this up, pull a lot of that green out, or just leave it for nitrogen. I haven't decided yet, but then I'm going to take some of my brand new pile of manure and topsoil and come in here and fix this three foot section of near the wall and we'll probably leave a little path probably coming from that way this section right here gets so wet I'm not sure what I could actually grow in there that won't drown to death but there you go south bed getting serious people and here's a little safety tip for you I'm ex navy did my time, served my country. Safety first, man. Now, I could disconnect that hose. Then I gotta reconnect it. But I have these portable fences. I move that thing in less than two seconds and that will keep the temptation down of trying to get as close to that freaking hose as I can with my cultivator. If I were to nick it, best case scenario, I gotta spend money to replace that hose. Medium scenario, there might be a little bit of gas in that hose and give me a nice pop. And then worst case scenario, I treat stuff like this like a gun. That valve's closed, but I'm assuming something's not right with that valve. If it's got a little bitty leak and it's filled that line up, I nick that thing with an electric motor running. Hey, uh, you know, worst, worst case scenario blow that tank up when I'm standing there three foot away so ain't gonna happen as I remove my temptation I can't get near that hose I reckon that picket fence is kind of like a chastity belt <laughs> just kidding just kidding just kidding well, here's the first run through on this side of it. This stuff's in pretty good shape like it is, man. That's good and dark. Years and years of pine. I did put some manure in. A little bit of garden soil. At the end of last summer. But yeah, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice right here. And like I said, on this other side, <clears throat> the water runs off that patio heavy rain it'll come in here and flood right there so either got to build that up a lot or just use it to walk through I'll probably take this Lord I don't know what I'm gonna do now I guess I just got to come in that way and leave me some footpaths Jules why didn't you think of this years ago man God almighty Yeehaw, looking good. All right, let's go see what next. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention it. That's my Vates collards. 
Still in play, man. Still eating off of them occasionally. We still will eat off of them. And uh, once I get the next thing going, up and growing, probably in March, then I would have made it around the horn. In other words, something's in the ground edible all the way around the year. That's some garlic over there. I don't know, I dropped some comments, man. Should I make that a, like an onion bed? I don't know. Every time I get out here doing stuff, I change my plans. I don't even know if I should bother with plans. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to show you guys this. This is amazing. Sorry. One hand up for real, one, one on one, one on the other. Look at this. It's broccoli, which is, I think, 10 to 14 days typical germination. These were put in on the 4th. Today's the 8th. This is cabbage. Five to eight days. Red on the left. Storage on the right. Typical green. And what you see, a lot of that came in in three days. And again, it's only four days. These are uh, Johnny Selected Seeds. Obviously, they've not all hit yet. But just, the, the, I just, wow, I don't know. It's either the seeds or this, it was, uh, they hooked me up with Sun Grow Propagating Mix. Got me Sambo. And the heat mat's not even on it. I just set it here. Crazy. Well, would you look at that? Well, not a flying pig. Come on, people. Although I do love that thing. If you want to send me a random gift, send me some flying pigs. I don't care what it is. <laughs> yeah, look at that dirt. I guess I put more manure and stuff in there than I realized. That is some healthy stuff right there. Lordy, lordy, lordy. And this machine right here, I've been working all day and multitasking. Somebody was asking about that earlier. I put that up on an Instagram post. Yeah, that Troy built's awesome. If you want to see that, uh, I do have a video of that. Almost a year old now. I think it's 10 months old. Something like that. You can also see how I prepare garden beds to get them to look like this. But it's really about using that. It's not like a uh, a review of the tool I'm showing you what I'm doing with it I mean it's a video of using it you know how I'm using it action video it's got a good song in it too good Christian song heavy metal Christian song a friend of mine wrote anyway I gotta get down in front of that uh, row of college there come around the back end on the wall yeah Man, I'm tickled. I was not expecting that. I really was not expecting that. So I was on the phone during one of my breaks today. This is Monday the 9th. That is my senile dog who's also deaf. So his bark is very loud. Ear piercing. Now one thing we concluded, we're gonna name that cart Daisy. Yeah. I still will give you a review on that card. I can tell you right now, though, get that. You will not regret it. It's a gorilla card. That's a seven cube. That's a bad unit right there. Yep. Anyway, I'm talking to him. The person was giving me a hard time about my dirt and being lazy. <laughs> the lazy gardener. Not like I haven't done anything. Took me two days to recover just moving that. I felt like I was in high school on a Saturday morning after a Friday night football game. It didn't feel well. It sure did not. But why? Yeah, I used some of that mulch in that bed, by the way. This thing's been around for two decades. Hate to part with it. I'm gonna break it down and keep it in the garage. Anyway, so I'm talking on the phone on my break and my neighbor back here, this is an alley. The city owns 10 foot of that, but we use it and keep take care of it. They don't do nothing. 
in, uh, I guess, a staging area right on the other side of that fence. <clears throat> keep some junk, keep a trailer, keep some wood. Obviously, they keep their RV right there. RV trailer, fifth wheeler, I guess you'd need to pull it. And um, he's walking, and I was up a little bit higher, and I could see he was carrying something, and then he was carrying a bunch of them. So I said, well, hold on. And I scored the doors. <laughs> he did warn me to have lead paint on them. But uh, just as a reminder, I'm putting down <laughs> this other free stuff. I've turned into my brother, y'all. This is uh, uh, a textile belt. For those that have missed that conversation, that's heavy, heavy, heavy mill. Nothing's coming through that. Like nothing. So I'm going to take those doors. You see how I'm using these blocks? This is where I'm keeping some wood for burning. But just an update for those that don't know. Over here is getting cleaned out. We're going to put that mat down. And we're going to use all this trash and repurpose it. Yep, I already have one door. The original door to this house I'm living in was built in 46. So I saw those doors right there and I'm like, oh, heck yeah. Tabletops, free. I mean, I could sand them down, paint over the lead, but they're going to be over weed mat anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. There's not going to be any. Uh, leaching of lead into something I'm eating. <clears throat> also, prune my old tree here. Um, for those that don't know, I made a video on this too. If you get a fruit tree going, if you get some peach or plum in particular, you want to start early right out of the gate and gut that middle, which I kept it pretty clean for years and years. This is an old girl. This is a dwarf, semi-dwarf, I think. Um, yeah, semi-dwarf spruce. So it drops early. One of the early dropping plums. Uh, you can see where I did some prune. I need to get some of that sealer. I got a can of it in the shed. Sealed up these cuts so that um, don't get any critters in there, and fungus and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, you need to keep the middle and you start it in the very beginning. Always keep that middle open so you get airflow and that cuts down on fungus problems for fruit trees, particularly plum and uh, peach. And as you can see, this is February 9th. Buds, I'm focus that for you. Buddy bud buds everywhere. So other than gut in the middle, I'm gonna let this ride. And then after um, the fruit's done, I'll do some top pruning. Selective, very selective. You do not wanna to cut too hard. Um, and just, the tree's not gonna die, but you're gonna mess up your fruit production. This is also an old tree, so it's about done producing anyway. My other tree that I had planted a few years ago died on me, so I should have planted two. <laughs> I might be out of plums here real soon. All right, let me get back over here and finish this thing. Yeah, let's get her done. Oh, Lord have mercy. I just keep hitting the dang jackpot. Let's see. Put my glasses on. Ha. Ha ha. This right here is a weed mat that somebody put down eons ago. Pretty much worthless. If you got centipede grass, Bermuda grass, crap like that. <clears throat> then when you, you know, putting down your mulch over top. Look at that. That's all the mulch. Years and years of mulch. Hot diggity dang. Look at that. Boom. 
that's at least four. I think it just hit me a bonanza. Hot damn. And you can see it is hard pan. All right, change of plans. Not gonna finish this part of the video right now. I'm gonna have to come back and do this tomorrow because I wanna get in on this hard pan as much as possible. Break that up. And part of the reason is, as I said before, that water will flow over there under that barrier and it comes over here and it settles. <clears throat> I do have that drain pipe on the other side of the fence over there. If you follow the channel, you know what I'm talking about. It's a French drain, but all the packing peanuts are coming loose from the sock. But I could take that sock off, break up this clay, and run that drain pipe under the ground and get that water out this way. So obviously, I'm not going to worry about final prep. It's late now. I'm getting towards 6 o'clock. I will go over there and cultivate that part. But wowzer. What a lucky break. Thank you, Mr. Cultivator. Just nipped the edge of it and pulled it. So I rolled her out. And there we go. Look at all that. Look at that. Good God, I reckon. In case you can't tell, I'm so happy. I've been wanting to get after all that stuff. I've been pulling out a little bit at a time. That weed, man, it's completely worthless. Yeah. Hallelujah. But before we get into the rest of that south bed, uh... I used to have craft pears up here. Luggy, okay, luggy. Okay. Here comes Cookie. You can't see it. It's small. That's a pear root. I got four of them. See where those logs are. That's what I use to mark a very short pear root. Um, dwarf cherry. It's a dwarf cherry bush. Put the logs down so I didn't stomp them by accident. And uh, they're supposed to get six foot six, six foot high, six foot wide. And they flower nice and white. And supposedly the fruit is edible. If it is edible, then I'm gonna have four cherry plants up here. Dang it, dang it. I've got a get my azaleas right. I need to feed them. They are looking like in bad shape. These got cut back. These are knockout roses. Spent all the $20 on all four of them. But I'm going to try to sneak in some plum tomatoes in here. I got this thing. It was on sale at Johnny Seeds. And uh, I think I'm going to try to sneak me in as many as I can get away with. Uh, they are striped. I forget what they call them. Maybe speckled. But um, they're a paste and tomato, but they got yellow streaks in them. The picture looks really cool. Ah, pretty picture. These dudes need to be cut back. See, it's so big. That's a zeal. You can't even see the top of it. On the other hand, it does hide the porch. So it's not like it doesn't have a purpose. I believe we have some crocus coming in over here in the specimen bed. Again, this is Zone 7B, North Carolina. It's February 9 0. Nine? Yeah. Nice little spot here, but you'll notice I take out some roses. So any, mini miny, mo. I'm thinking in the foreground, 
I'm thinking I'm going to run me some Cherokee purples. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that weed mat down myself. There ain't nothing on top of that with those pine needles. I can still cut that mat and get to the ground, amend it up, and get me some fruit going in here that I can eat. That's a gardenia, by the way. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Japanese maple, another cheap buy from Aldi. Yep, it's a great. That right there is my after work beverage. It's a bush light, 4%. Get off my back, Nancy. I had a long day. A very long day. God, that was a long day. All right, so let's get back there and see what's up. But before we do that, my God, uh, this stuff, it's, it's, he saw it early. I'm just amazed at that. And I just realized I'm in the wrong room. I need to go um, show you the seed. Okay. Okay. I said I was never going to share this on this channel, but this is my junkie studio. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, I even got some of that pergola stored in here. <laughs> some gardening stuff, music stand, using like a table. I guess I'm not the most organized person. It's my bird seed. I got to keep it inside because of the freaking squirrels. Uh, let's see if we can find that seed. What is that? No, that is it. No, I've been doing it. That's what it is. Speckled Roman. 40 seeds. I got that for like two seventy nine. dollars Discount at Johnny's. 85 days. You know, I need to start germinating this stuff. Right now. Yep or dipper. Alright, so let's get back to it. Yeah, by the way, before we get out there, there's Chef Beth doing her thing. Got some what? We got pepper steak. Yeah, a pepper steak. Some noodles. No, no noodles. What is that? Uh, that is some um, bamboo shoot. Oh. And there's some squash, yellow squash. That ain't ours. No. What is no. ours? Any of ours in there? Uh, no, only our misfit box. Oh, I thought we had our peppers in there. No, that's misfit peppers. Oh, misfit peppers. <laughs> Our misfit peppers, not our peppers are. You gotta come see what I discovered. This is just unbelievable. Right. Ubi ubi. I'm telling you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Something we've been trying to get right forever. Oh. I got lucky. Oh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yep. A cultivator there. My Troy built electric cultivator. Tore the mad up. Took just a nip on the edge. They had stripped it. See, that was the problem. Some went some way, some went the other. They had just stripped everything like that. But this one was stripped. Caught the edge, disconnected it, started pulling. All that mat's out of there. That that sheet is gone. Awesome. Look at all the dirt that was on top. It's beautiful dirt. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stop it on this as I need to bust up that clay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put in a, uh, I'm going to save the drain pipe, get rid of the sleeve and the peanuts. Yeah. And then put that drain pipe right there to keep that water moving back towards the yard. Oh, okay. Bingo, bango. Hot diggity dang. Hot diggity dang. That is some pretty dirt. That's some awesome dirt. Nice. I'm gonna be Johnny Appleseed this year. That's what's gonna happen right there. I'll be growing all kinds of exotic fruit. Go find me some exotic fruit on my. Find me some exotic fruit. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's nice. I swear, good gosh, I'm so happy. Hey, thanks for watching. I know that got scrambled all over, but it is the Tuesday premiere, so that's what it is. Sorry. Uh, every Saturday, once in a while, I'll put up a little shorty about whatever. Um, and of course, Fridays, live chat, 530 special guest. This Friday is Farmer G, and we're going to talk about aquaculture, 
aquaponics, and hydroponics. Peace, y'all.